over to our curtain lights. This is it. It's time for the hump, and it's episode one hundred. Woo! <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Julius. Are you with us this week? I hope so. So do I. <laughs> so, hello. And Jace. Hello. So, what's happening at ProTech News? In ProTech News this week, we report on the fallout from the $1 million TCP fraud. After our story last week, further developments have arisen. The TCP collapse is a great case study that we have added to the IC Tech seminar program across Australia in October. In addition, we can now announce Lightware and Infocom have confirmed that Infocom CTS, CTSD and CTSI qualification holders that attend Lightware's IC Tech seminar behind the scenes of HDMI and HDBase-T will earn two renewal units. Also in ProTech news, a look inside the refit of Nova Studios and all the hot jobs online this week. Make sure you register at juliusmedia.com for your ProTech news email, delivered each Wednesday lunchtime. back this week we're talking about venue closures there's quite a few going mm, on sadly yeah, enough in a bit of a rash like we've had mm. one uh, actually affect us quite badly so um, the New South Wales government flogged off Australian Technology Park in Everly they announced they were going to operate for another year we had another show booked in there that was all fine but mm. then Mervac announced actually we're taking your car park in six months so then ATP have then had to come back and call us all the people who you know hired it and go yeah. well we sort of you know it's six months earlier than we thought Mervac are going to be building a great big hole in the ground where your car park used to be mm. effectively rendering the place uh, useless so and will, will it be six yeah. months it's I love that the, they send us these weasel words that mm. says Mervac will work with management to ensure that all events are delivered under a quality framework and then they say things like oh well you know we'll We'll work to free up some car parking in the one remaining car park. Now, mm. you know, take out 95,000 square metres of outdoor car parking mm -hmm. yeah. and then force all that traffic into the one existing car park, yeah. which means a reduction of 66%, mm -hmm. or is that 200%? <laughs> um, and yeah. then add in all the builders and tradies. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like, is there compensation? Like, where do you go? I, I don't uh, know. Where it was basically, there? look, the, the management of ATP handled it as best they could, but mm. compensation? Are you serious? <laughs> are you <laughs> serial? <laughs> yeah, tell them they're dreaming. Um, funny about car parks too, because the Adelaide Festival Centre, they just had to make an announcement recently that because of the renovation of their car park and some other stuff they're doing in there, uh, unexpectedly they're actually closing the venue for six months Why? next year. Uh, apparently they have to because they're going under something or it's not safe and they're actually changing a few things in the... In so what the happens well. to the highs? Well, they're all a bit surprised, apparently. So you've got major arts companies, you know, you've got opera, ballet, mm. you know, the, the theatre companies, Some including major Adelaide, ones, Adelaide yeah. Theatre Company and, you know, visiting shows from, like, Sydney Theatre Company and Melbourne Theatre Company and not a lot of other really choices in Adelaide. So yeah. Yeah. Renella Scout Hall, I'm oh. telling you, that is the place. Yeah. Dust off those cobwebs. I went to a blue light disco there once and <laughs> no, I didn't. The symphony, <laughs> um, I mean in Sydney, the opera concert hall mm. at the Opera House will be dark wow. and those companies are asking for compensation even when they find alternative venues. So, so how long is this going out for, the concert hall? Uh, about a year. Wow. Um, but the companies are saying, well, even if we can do shows in the State Theatre or the Capitol or mm. the Lyric, um, we won't have the, the draw, yeah. the pool. Yeah. So we want compensation. Mm. Yeah, that's a big thing up here because tourists come here to go to a yeah. show at the Opera House because yeah. it's the Opera House. Yeah. Mm. So, mm, no good. All right. No. Well, we'll be back after this.
Hello star children. Here's what the universe has in store for you today as you head to your gigs. Cancer. You know that adapter you always need to get the client's thing to work, you know the one that's pretty much more important than everything else on the gig? Well, you left it in the office, in a drawer, and it's five minutes until the gig starts. Leo. Please continue with your story about how the operator at the show you saw last night got everything wrong and how you would have done it much better. Really, please keep going. We're all dying to know. Virgo, the fact you spent the entire day cleaning the warehouse, arranged everything in perfectly symmetrical aligned stacks, color-coded all cables according to lengths, and put all loose items into perfectly cut foam recesses in their pelican cases will be appreciated by no one. You are a sad and ultimately lonely person. Take care out there everybody. With Mercury ascendant in Uranus, anything could happen. The new Bose PowerShare adaptable power amplifier line consists of three one new models. The two and four channel fixed install models, PS602 and PS604, and one two channel portable amplifier, the PS602P. Each model delivers 600 watts of power that can be shared across all output channels. With support for both low and high impedance loads up to 100 volts, PowerShare amplifiers adapt to a wide range of applications. Onboard configurable loudspeaker processing and direct access to zone controllers eliminate the need for an additional signal processor in many installations. Well, welcome back. I mean, apart from the obvious negatives of all these venues closing down, there are some, some positives. Mm. I mean, like the, the concert hall closing down in the Opera House, they're going to fix the acoustics, right? Because Yeah, it, it comes back better. Yeah, Hamer Hall in Melbourne was well worth doing. That, Came back that better. Took, that took ages and is now so much better. Yeah, yeah. entertainment yeah. centre's been demolished, but we get a new events theatre in December, mm. which is smaller but better. Yeah. yeah, and Cairns, they had problems with asbestos. Yeah, yeah they get a new venue, but mm. they won't have a venue for two years whilst they do that. Wow, two years. Well, it's it takes time to build. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a little bit worried about this whole six month thing they were talking about with Adelaide. And that. It's like, it's <laughs> never six months. It's never six months. <laughs> it's a year. When they give you a time frame of six months. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we in my two week kitchen, I'm now into month five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. <laughs> exactly. It's like project homes. Yeah. You know, 14 week contract, it says. Yeah. And then there's an asterisk. <laughs> it's a big asterisk. It's always, people, it's always a year to build a house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, speaking of tools, let's have a look in Gearbox. Well, good day. And today on Gearbox, we're looking at the PR Lighting XR330 BWS. BWS, of course, being an acronym for Beam Wash Spot, which is the three types of functions that this fixture is designed to be able to provide all rolled into one case. And I think it actually gets there pretty well. Uh, it runs from a Sirius HRI 330 watt discharge lamp, which you might think is an interesting move in a time when there's lots more LED on the market. Rest assured, PR Lighting has a lot of LED product. This one's a discharge lamp, which is pretty common actually within that sort of hybrid type of fixture that we've seen arrive on the market. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Episode 100, do you reckon we can do another 100? Yeah, sure. Well, I don't know whether. Uh, I'm just getting warmed up. All right. Yeah, so we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Julius might not make it. <laughs>